Mukama yebazi wenyo. Praise be to God. Baluani bana fe mukama yebazi wenyo. Fellow fighters, praise be to God. We want to appreciate God for this day for various reasons. Whoever is watching us and listening to us over Kingdom Radio and Kingdom TV and all other platforms, you may ask yourself, what are they thanking God for? Yet they've lost someone. All people die. But some people, when they die, they make us to thank God. According to the scriptures you've heard here. One of, the scripture, one of the scriptures has said that blessed are those who die in our Christ Jesus. If the Bible says that they are blessed, then how dare we say that we ought to cry, yet they ought to make us happy. Let me first bring my sorrow message to you all. From the bottom of my heart. It's too absurd for the loss of my fellow fighter, my brother, the apostle, Bishop Stephen Senfuma. I'll tell you ahead of time that why is it so absurd. But I know that it is too sorrowful into our hearts. Fever Esther Senfuma. I want to bring this condolence message unto Mrs. Fever Senfuma. Having lost your good friend and he has gone. Together with the children together. We are so sorrowful unto you and we are praying for you. That may God take you through this trying time because it isn't easy. Those someone Though someone has been good and he has gone to a good place, but we see people crying even someone going to the airport having gone to the America to stay there. And I want to bring a condolence message unto the family of UCC. Together all in all the entire nation. May God encourage you and bind you all. And even sorrowful message and all the body of Christ because it has not been for UCC alone. The body of Christ in the entire Uganda. We've laid the flags half mast because a fight has gone. Kingdom Media we've told them don't do anything else till this is done. And they asked why then, but we told them that this is why it is called Kingdom. I want to appreciate you all who are here. I want to thank each and everybody who has done whatsoever you've been in position to do, as even Selma was still sick. I'm among the people who could disturb Fever Sema calling her even midnight, but I could switch off, but later she could even call again. And she could update me on what's over is going on, and we could pray. And Pastor Bone Musoke. But as Sema is gone, very many questions have come across our minds. 
One of the questions I was inquiring myself What was upon all my prayers I made? If I told God to sit there, I could inquire him as well. But afterwards, I got something which helped me. As, as various videos portraying what Bishop was always speaking about moving, they also moved across my network. I got around four of them or five. But when I received the second one, I told my wife, I've whipped out all my tears. I've quit crying and she asked why. She gave me her reasons as a wife. I told her, you can continue crying, but for me, I've just striped away my tears. When I see the videos and I hear his words, then I get to know he has gone where he has been desiring he wanted to go back home. Perhaps the difference with him his difference with you the one who is still pondering Perhaps God gave him a blessing and an opportunity to see where he's heading to. That is his difference with you. One who is so much terrified with death that even when you say caterpillar, you run. Now for me, I wiped away the tears. When I remember scripture that what a righteous desires will be granted to him. Then my prayers could not deter Senfuma to go. When I wiped out my tears, I just even wanted to even apologize that why I wanted to pray for him. Yet he's on another course, yet we are also on another course. May God enable us to understand things the way he did. Praise be to God. Ladies and gentlemen, I want a good reader to read for me in the book of Luke. I was inquiring myself from morning. When I was alerted that I'm the one to speak here today. I asked myself which message can come out well to beat firewall for a servant of God, Stephen Senfuma. People who were at UCC yesterday, I told them that I've known Senfuma from 1990. When he was brought to me in my office from Zengebe, Evangelist Nalong Madina, you know, is the one who brought him to me. He was preaching Sozi. They had prayed together from the church called Heritage, which was pastored by late Pastor Sozi. From Zengebe, when heritage had gotten scandals, the Lord placed it upon his heart to gather the people who had scattered. I'm among the people whom he inquired from, how can I do it? And when should I do it? And where should I do it? I was seeing him for the first time. He was a bit younger than me. We prayed together in the little office I had. I told him, go and start, we shall support you. He went to Kasubi, not where the church is, but behind the market. 
He went with his colleagues. They attended Kanabo. Whom he started with. They began the church. And they began the church. In just papyrus. After not a long time, they invited me and I went. Actually, it's the one who invited me. I went there. I put there a conference for the entire week. against poverty. And to the theme Olutalo Okulwani Sobuavu. Such conferences, I could rotate them around various places in the city. That is one of the places I went to. The genesis and the history of that church, I got a chance to know it. UCC. Therefore, I've been a friend to UCC. And I'm still your friend. In Jesus' name. But as I was inquiring myself, on an occasion like this to beat for Senfuma, which kind of sermon should be preached? And where he is in heaven, may he say hallelujah. I discovered that there is not any other book he would like to hear. As the book which so much narrates and explains his message of the inner man. So I'm not going to make a mistake. To request you to open in Luke 16.19. That understanding is not for everybody. Perhaps it is the most thing which disturbs us a lot Many people have not gotten that understanding. That man is not the one you see walking. It is not this outer box. It is not Chigana whom you see in a court. No. What you see here, there inside is something else. What you see out is a box. The real Chiganda is inside. There is a great battle to understand. And one of the most scary things upon people to die is that. They know that when they are dead, it is finished. It is finished when they are dead. In fact, actually, some of the people make themselves to rebel against God. They say that when I get saved, what should I gain? What do I benefit because I say I'm dead? Some people sin and they say, well, God find me because I'll be dead. Then they do all the fully things you know. Giving an excuse that they'll be dead. Because I'll no longer be hearing. By the way, all what you're speaking to happen to me when? Because I'll be dead already. I want to use this message to explain to you who is watching and listening to me. That death is not the end, but it is just the genesis. And the youth of the city just say that it is just beginning. This word which we call death, the one which we gave the word death, it began not as the word death. It began with another, another word. When I get this cream shut and I die it, and becomes blue, I've just transformed it. I've just transformed it. It is not spoiled. I've just changed its color. And the white man just said that he has uh, food day. He has died it. But it is not spoiled. 
death is just a doorway to reach where we have been working for to reach where we are told before death is just a small door the body remains here because it cannot enter the other place it doesn't go there days back I got an experience we got it as a family. My wife was operated womb for just twins. Was operated and shot twins just for six months and a half. One died and the other remained. And is in the machines of the incubators. But listen to what I went through. They called me when she was in the theater. When the children were already operated just there in the theater. When I reached the doorway in the theater. They told me Mr. Chiganda. You remove the clothes you're having. I said who? Should I remove my clothes from here? Aren't you ashamed you want to undress the full bishop? They told me that all those clothes that are not going anywhere. Where are you entering? They enter with other clothes. The youth introduced to me, though I will not mention the church where he prays from. And he said, Bishop, I'm also born again, but you're going to leave these clothes here. I just undressed the coat and told me, even the shirt, you remove it. And he told me, Father, still that, even the trouser. And I said, why am you making me this punishment? And he told me, why are you entering? Those are the rules which govern there. We are going to give you other clothes. He brought me out of the theater. He, told, he brought me green tunics and even a cape and even trousers for doctors. He told me, yeah, you just dress up these ones and these other ones. Leave them here. I just said, mm. I said, okay, because I wanted what I was going to. I removed them and dressed the doctor's squares. Then I moved ahead where my wife was and even the children. Then I got a lesson over there. I don't wonder if we are told that this body ought to remain here. The Bible says that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. The real same form I went the other day. What he remained us with. He left the box where he was staying. Because the rules which govern the other place, such boxes don't go there. The angels had to undress him. This body as Chigana was undressed when he was going to the theater. Because the other place, other bodies are there, not this one. I don't know what disturbs us here is that we don't know what is there and they are the very many words which we are speaking. Bible the Bible says like this. Bible the Bible says like this. That there was a rich man. Who was dressed up in purple and fine linen and lived in luxury every day? And there was another poor man called Lazarus who was laid by his gate. This one was covered with sores and longing to eat what fell from the rich man's table. Even the dogs came and licked his sores. The time came. 
the time came People, truly, the day comes. If you have a neighbor, tell him that the time came. Whether you want it or not, it will come. Whether you're residing on a mountain, or in the valley, or in a ghetto, or where the rich men stay, However much money you have, even though where they have been treated you even though you have been being treated, even though you've been running so fast, even though you are beating other people, even though you are bewitching other people, even though whatsoever you are doing, you are showing you to stand here, I have bad news unto you. If you have never prepared yourself for this, I have bad news unto you. If you have never prepared yourself for this journey, if you have never prepared yourself for this journey, a time comes. The Bible said, that the time came. It is the hour which is different. The time just differs. As all of us, you saw here, I know when I speak it, some of you may say fire. As all of us here, the time will come. Now you just speak fire slowly. You don't have to wait to fire. You may speak out fire because you've not prepared yourself for where we are speaking about. Though you may utter out fire, but the day still will come. The most important thing is that for you to pray, prepare yourself, that when it finds you, you may be worthy. How do they prepare for it? They prepare it by accepting the Lord Jesus Christ and even repenting of your sins. Then you get to know that yourself. We don't get saved in order to die. That one disturbs people a lot. Somebody asked me that if I tell you also die, then why do you get saved? As a matter of fact, we try to get out of the way and we try to get out after getting to know that we shall die, that's why we got saved. Getting saved is like putting your car in an insurance company. The one who puts his car in insurance says that, hey, just in case, good day. If at all it gets an accident. Now what makes us saved? We want to understand that there is death. And we say, surely you will be truly dead if at all you are not saved. Why should I say that you are truly dead? The Bible tells us two kinds of words. He teaches us two things. Then you decide what you'll go with. The Bible speaks of being born again. And afterwards it speaks about the second death. If you birth the first time, you'll die two times. If you accept and you get born again, for you'll die once. All of them are in the Bible. If you fail to get saved, it means you fail to get born again. Then prepare for the second death. This is a rehearsal of death, but there is another kind of death. This is a rehearsal where you see same fumar. The other side, there is something more serious. This is just a pre-party. The other side, there is the real party. This death you're seeing is just small. The other side, there is the second death, the local of fire where you're tortured from. Only the ones who get saved and get born again will escape that. If you have your hands, you can clap for Jesus. Only those. Only those who got born again will escape the second death. Because 
Such words I'm speaking about this rich man didn't know anything about them. He could even deter the words even though he hearkened to them. And he told you yeah, that who told you that there is another day. He could say that when I'm dead I'm really dead. He married the kinds of women he wanted. He took the kind of wine he wanted. He went to each and every shrine. He went to all disco halls. He did all folly things. He even ate corruption with even tomato sauce. What could he care about? He would ascertain himself that when you're dead, you're truly dead. The Bible says that nearby his house, this man who could enjoy the luxury, he could wear whatsoever he wanted. He could drive whatsoever car he wanted. He, he went and slept in the most expensive houses. It is not problematic to have all those. But have you known and honored that God has granted you the opportunity to enjoy them? The Bible says that he used to dress up in good and he was always in good luxury in all happiness. I'm so amazed of the rich people. I'm so amazed of the rich people. There is nobody who could get saved fast like a rich man. Because I know one thing about the rich man. The rich men want good things. The rich men want good things. They want to drive good cars. They want to reside in good houses. They want to buy good clothes. They want to eat good food. Even though you take a rich man to Lucia, he wants a mattress and a blanket to be brought to him. He does everything possible to be put in a good room. Rich men want good things even though they are going for funeral in their villages in Kalisizo. He wants the rich men want good things that even though in the funeral services they want to sleep in good tents. A rich man doesn't go in a place having not prepared there. When a rich man is going to Johannesburg, he doesn't want to be saved. The rich men want to be saved that even though they don't have someone to prepare for them, but they book hotels which are going to accommodate them. I'm just amazed of the rich men. They go through this entire world booking Uli everywhere they are going. Jibana asura. They first prepare where they are going to reside wherever they are going. They don't go where they are not expected. Sure wa wa they are not going anywhere having not been sure where to sleep. I'm amazed of one thing about the rich men. Not preparing for themselves where they are going to head to after living here. When he didn't book there, he just dies anyhow. He dies having not prepared where he's going to stay after this holiday. Amen. We know that only booking there, you ought to give your life to Christ is that you may stay well where you're going. New York, what are the monosula? Go to Dubai, never be to Kakumoyogo, no Yoko Maragafa, no Gina Jota Tegira, no Maro Gambach face beside the Eri. How comes you fail to prepare where you're heading to after this border? Yet in all other places in New York, Massacre, everywhere you've been preparing where to reside. Because 
Why you left Katwe to Muyenga? Because you don't want to reside to people which are not of your class. Wali osula munde babu afuna sende. No gamba awa no mugeza agende kororo. Bana abantu vas engeri eno. Abata sivatege na bulunji. Vainzo kwa senda bero amu. Nevanzu bake maroka yang. Nevanzu bake esimu. No beke engira. No genda mbakira asio. You were an endeavor and then you went to Kololo to reside with people of your class. Lest these other ones steal from you. Ochimanyi dinga toroko se. Abandu wana bobadoduka ogenda kuguisa buwe njina bonga mungu wagnanye komo geena. Do you know that the people whom you have been fearing here, if you're not yourselfed, you'll find them together in hell. All the evil doers you've been vacating from here, you'll find them in hell and they'll box you and you'll feel it. Then why have you been running from them always? Why is it that always your mirrors are up? You have people whom you didn't want to reach out to you. You could fear they will steal from you. They will beat you, they will harm you. If you are not saved, all the people you ran from, they are waiting for you in hell. That's what happened unto this rich man I'm reading with. He enjoyed the life of the earth. God granted all his requests. But he didn't honor God. Yet he could get saved first. The Bible has told us that time came. The poor man died. Surely they die first because they don't have medication. He didn't even have food. He could just deserve the leftovers from the table. To he could desire to eat leftovers from the table. Even the dogs of the rich man could come and give him food. Just making him why and and he could, they could deter all he could do. Then time came, the poor man died. After dying, hearken to what happened to him. Time came when the beggar died. I told you that time really comes. Time came when the beggar died. And the angels carried him to Abraham's bosom. Then the rich man also died and was buried. I think you hear the difference. The poor man died and was lifted by the angels. The question which is there, what did the angels carry? Because they've told us the body and the blood cannot inherit the kingdom. Then what did the angels lift up? If the dogs could enjoy to lick his sores, how about when he was dead? It is possible that his body was buried in the bellies of the dogs. After all, even the angels didn't need it. The angels lifted the other real Lazarus, the inner one, to the bosom of Abraham. After a long while, even the rich man died. I told you death is inevitable to all. Just the difference is time. The one who has died first goes there first before you. But at the end of it all you also go. Delaying to go to bed doesn't mean that you won't sleep. At times men delay in the... Just watch football, but at the end they will go to bed. Even death is like that. Time differs. Praise be to God. The most important question that if you're ready to go, how are you going? The Bible has told us that the rich man also died. For him, he was buried. 
It means his burial ceremony. recognized. It was recognized. Gwali well prepared. The religious men gathered. The prayer warriors prayed. Even though the rich man dies with four women, the religious men know how to cover they just tell these other women that you hide the other side and this man can be prayed for way. Well. The religious men make it so that you may have a whole But yet they know the evil things you do that you even have a shrine behind us. Nobody returns the burial ceremony of a rich man. Though deep in their hearts know that you're heading to hell. The prayers are so mighty which we make while burying. For us, the way the religious men, we have driving forces. First of all, you give us an envelope after the burial. Who wants to miss that? That I may speak of you that you're heading to hell. You call us that you let the religious men come inside and you eat food. Even give us delicious food. Who dare misses that good food? Then you dare say that this rich man is heading to hell and they deter to give him food. Therefore, the glorious songs were made for him. But they even forgot to enter him in the west. But they truly know that this one has not been a child of God. But they just cling to him. We dedicate this one as a, child, a son of God, yet they know that this one has been a child of God. He was no longer going to church. They have just carried him even in a coffin. You know, things are so amazing. You can fail to get church time. But if you fail to bring yourself to church, Father, still, people not miss to bring you to church. Before. But all that is just blaspheming. God. God doesn't want you when you're dead. He wants you when you're still alive to exalt him. When you can still serve him. You want to give God the death things. Has he told you that he doesn't want the living things? Even a cat cannot eat a dead rat. But you spent your entire life doing all the things you want. Then after dying with they say that we give in your son God. And the God just looks at us. As he said and did on this Bible again, the Bible says that the beggar also died and was carried by the angels and put in the no, of the and the rich man also died Nazikibwa. and was buried. In his heads, he looked up. I've begun on the gist why I came to this chapter. Because I just see that the film has begun. The man who didn't get saved. Who didn't know that who didn't know that after one is dead will remain seen? Who didn't know that one will still see and feel after death? Who didn't know that the body remains here but is heading to somewhere else? He is here just amazed. The Bible says that time came and the beggar died. And the rich man also died and was buried. The rich man looked up while in Heads. He was in a torment. He was in great torment. Eh? Mm. First, he, he, looked looked up. Up. 
That means he had eyes. Yet he thought that when he's dead, it is finished. I want to tell you, you have other eyes except these ones you see. If you didn't know you have other eyes except these you have. No. These bodily eyes you call eyes. For me, I call it windows. They are windows where you pose yourself to see. As you're in the house. And you look through the window. Now even the one you move with, it is your house. You yourself, you're there inside. What you call eyes, they are the windows through which you see us. When you close, you truly close. But doesn't mean that the eyes are no longer seen. They are inside seen. If you want to be sure of that, I want to give you one minute or twenty seconds. Just leave here a little. Go into your sitting room. Go to your sitting room. Start uh, just examining how you organize your sitting room. You, do you see where the table is? Do you see where the TV is? Do you see where the chairs are? Haven't you seen them? But have you left here? It means those inner eyes are there, they are seen. And what has gone there, it has been your soul which has gone there. This is what the rich man didn't know. Now he's here, he's seeing them for the first time. The Bible has told us, he looked up well in the heads. These other outer eyes were already around. Rotting. They were already rotting and busting out. But he had other eyes to use to see. That he raised up his eyes. He has even eyes to he look up. He looked up well in heads. He was in great torment. He is even to being tormented. Now what is being tormented? He has even something to be tormented. That is being tormented. Yet the body was buried here. But this man has something tormented. He feels. He's pain. He's feeling. He, he, he raised up his eyes while in heads. And so Abraham far away. With Lazarus in his bosom. When he called, when he he said, now it is going to work. I don't understand all the other people I'm saying. But there are two people I've understood. The first one is Abraham. Lazarus is the one in his bosom. Isn't that one who was eating leftovers ah, from oh, the house? Ah, that one will come. Let me speak to Abraham to Abadali, command him. Abadali, 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 Abadali. That one who has been eating my leftovers, he wanted just to just uh, bully him. He just explaining why he was eating leftovers. Now he's just bullying him. Now he's just bullying him. He spoke to loudly saying, Father Abraham, Nsasira. have pity on me. Atanisekola, Ibrahim, now he's calling Abraham to have pity over him. He fell to make prayers all on earth. Now he's praying while in heads. Did you fail to pray? Don't you have time to pray? You will pray. This one is praying. But instead of praying to God, he's praying to Father Abraham. That is how religious is. It is, does not help people to know whom they ought to pray. Whenever you don't know Jesus, you're just wandering around whoever you find. You call him my Father. You call whoever you want. You're want. just there, Rotary. This time you call him Matia Mumba, Kaloli Luanga, Bikira Maria, Bikira Maria. David Chiganda. the other time you call David Chiganda. Saddam. Then you are about to call Saddam. Now this one is called from Abraham. He failed to call upon God. Now it is time for panting, he is calling unto Abraham. Saying, Father Abraham. Have pity over me. Abraham to have pity over you. Talo, when did he do it? 
Abraham does not say the one who saves died on the cross is called Jesus forsake all other people you've been calling you will call the dead people and you will even call Bin Laden the dead cannot save Jesus the one who saves because he resurrected the amen who is over there He's saying, have pity over me. And he sent Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue because I am in agony in this fire. Fire was upon this man. It has started upon him. It's that is just the rehearsal of the fire. If you know the fire. That one is just the rehearsal. But he felt the warmth coming to him. And he said, Abraham, send Lazarus. He has been eating my leftovers. Tell him to deep the tip of his finger in the, in the water and bring to me on my tongue because fire started consuming me. Surely this world deceives me. This world can do many people. It deceives us so much. The rich man who had a fridge and a deep freezer. The one who had a tap at home. Even had an underground tank. This rich man who has cold water in the fridge. Can no longer access it once just water coming on the thing of Lazarus. Do you see how life can squeeze you to a hard corner? The rich man wants water. Maybe it is being brought in a car. Or even in a polythene bag. Just buy a finger to bring water. By the end you ask, what will it help you? The fridges which were at home could no longer work. The water which is in the tank can no longer work. The one which was in the fridge can no longer work. Just other people are governing it. You man and lady who is watching me. Accept Jesus and get saved. Because you're not going to take anything from this world. Everything which is making you boast up, you're not taking it. They'll just share it whichever you like. When you can no longer have authority that this one be given to so and so by the Messiah. But he told you so much to gather them. There are even people you killed so as to gather them. You saw from other people to gather them. You gathered a lot. But the rule of going cannot even permit you to take even a spoon. Therefore, gather them when you will also prepare the church. Because at the end, the only thing which you're going to go with is your soul. The Bible says, what will it benefit a man to lose his soul? What will it benefit a man to lose his soul having gathered a lot? Don't accept to lose your soul. In this encounter of gathering world, at the end, you're just only going to go with your soul. Let me wind up like this. Bible, the Bible said, the Bible told us, he requested for water by the Lazarus tip of finger to cool his tongue. Verse 25 says, but Abraham replied, my son, my son saying that my son surely you are exhausted the rich man who could scare the entire village you now exhausted Remember. my son Remember. okay Mm. 
that you are in your lifetime, you received your good things. While Lazarus received the bad things, but now he's comforted here, and you are in agony. Ibrahim to yaringa mugamanti okufuna ebintu biwafuna chali chibinyo mondyo ba chali chikolimo ndyo babi mukwasizo bujalwachi yabifuna It is not that Abraham told him that it was bad for you to gather all things you had Ofuna ebintu sichibi Gathering wealth isn't bad Bechi ali amugamba But what he was telling him Wawewe birunji ne katonda yabikuwa te wamusa mu chitibwa You were given the good things but you did not honor God who blessed you Lazarus atabifuna ateye na alokoka Lazarus who didn't gain all that Ngali namugamba tola banga go ali bade wasoko koloko he was saying, don't you see that you're the one who ought to first get saved, the one who was wealthy? Praise be to God. Praise be to God. He added this. And besides all this, and I think this is the most sad thing. And it is the most troublesome. And saying, I wouldn't have refused to help you. I would have just refused it. But let me explain to you the geography of where we are. The geography of where we are, it is a bit hard. It is tricky. It is not like your side in Kampala. Where they put a lockdown, but you penetrate through. No. This side it is tricky, not like in prison where you can request for a bond. Things this side they don't have a court bail. He's saying. And besides all this, wakati wa fenamwe wali wolu konkolu wamvo ruate kebwa wo abaga lo kujeno je abaga lo kujemuli balemengo kuyinza. That between us and you is a great chasm has been set in place so that those who want to go from here to you cannot. Era, balemenga okuveyo okuja eno jetuli. Nor can anyone cross over from there to us. Namgambe cheche, chisingo kubaa kubu zibuwa wunene nyo. He said that is the most troublesome thing. Wade katunda tu wamanya na ito alisa singiri, tu alibate kone ingiri jetu kuyamba ni tukuletele amazi. Na ye katunda chino, ingiri jia chiteke kamu, ate ya china kubu yinza, kuchino tu wali achu usamu, wakati wa fem. He told him we would have loved to help you But God said it like this There is a great chasm No one can cross from that side to this side Or from this side to your side I was born a Catholic Not just this mere Catholic but a strange Catholic from Massacre. A strange Catholic. We are not just ordinary Catholics. But this is what I heard while growing up. Could you love what made me to get saved the one who was a staunch Catholic? Because for me, I was truly a staunch Catholic who loved it so much. Truly. I could box you and I could be arrested if you dare speak against Catholicism or even the Pope. Therefore, I loved it so much. And I didn't love the born again. In Masaka, we are trying to hate born again with all our hearts. We are told to speak against them that you are the false prophets we are told before. We could abuse them all the folly words which could make them angry. Even we could call them certain tribes. Yet that is how far I loved Catholicism yet I hated the born again. But I was taught in Catholicism that when I die though I have sins though my life was not put right though I have done some folly things when I die that they will pray for me and I move out from purgatory or from heads and they make a prayer for me and I enter heaven they gave me that assurance and I said let me give in money. let me give in money and I go and I just do adultery the way I want 
Let me give them money. And I take wine the way I want. Oh, but I'm not going to give them a piece of my mind. I'm going to give them a piece of my mind. I did all things as thinking they will pray for me to move from purgatory to heaven. What made me to get saved? It is this verse which I've just read. To you. This one made me. Break. The showed it to me even in our books of the Catholics when the verse was there. The prayers I wished for them to pray for me, that's where they ended from purgatory to heaven. Because the verses say that between those ones in purgatory and those in heaven, there is a great chasm and there is no prayer which can make you vacate from this place to the other. There is a great rift valley. There is a great rift valley. No prayer can be made. But the prayer warriors cannot refuse. You're the one who have because you give us money to pray that our people may leave this side to heaven. But the truth is this. There is no prayer they can make for you to move from heads to heaven. Where are the tree bends from, that is where it falls. If everyone here, if I told you have common sense, you can see where that tree will fall. When it comes. If you've been moving yourself, burning in hell, when you die, you truly you fall in hell. He was told that there was a great rift valley where you fall is where you land. Abraham added this to him. After hearing words of the Rift Valley, he just quit. The rich man quit. Having known that the Rift Valley cannot enable one to move to the Rift Valley. He was told that the Rift Valley cannot enable one to move to the Rift Get to know if you leave this place and you get to hell, there is no prayer which will be made for you to move from there to heaven. People who leave hell are the ones who get saved and confess him to be their personal Savior. Then Jesus gives you the visa to heaven. Let me hear two people say amen. As I'm winding up. Verse 28 says. Verse 28. It speaks like this. Ibrahim Amogamba. Abraham tells him. The rich man said. He has quit praying for himself, but now praying for his brothers he left on earth. Then I beg you, Father, send Lazarus to my family, for I have five brothers. Let him warn them so that they will not also come to this place of torment. But Abraham told, him, Abraham told him that they have Moses and prophets. Let them listen to them. In brief, he was telling him, don't disturb the dead to go back to preach. Then he 
He was instructed, don't disturb the, these dead ones. They cannot go back, but they have other prophets like Chiganda to preach out to you. Even Selma has been there. They have a city full of the preachers. Even TV stations were put to find their sermons. Even radio stations talking to the gospel. Even we've begun churches. The gospel is in each and every corner of the city. Now you want Lazarus to go back. Why don't they hearken to those ones over there? Hey, oh, the rich man waged the war. The rich man brought a reasoning. Hearken to the reasoning of the rich man. He said, No! No! My father Abraham, don't become angry. Don't become grievous. Don't be put feelings in it. No! My father, my father Abraham. He said. But if someone dead. And warns them. And preaches to them. They will repent. He said to him. If they did not listen to Moses. And the prophets. And the prophets. Still they will not be convinced even if someone rises from the dead. The truth is like this. I'm among the people who has ever said something. And I could inquire of the preachers. Uh, who, uh, who are you, the preacher that you left there? When did you depart from there? When did you go there? How do you know that heaven is there? How do you know that God is there? Why do you preach of things you're not sure of? And I could tell them. When I see someone dead and when I see someone who was there, when the preacher, then I'll get saved. But just this wise king we have, just the wise king we have, all of us we've ever said that when I say that person, I'll accept. But just because of the wise king, let us speak the truth. What brought us here is what? Just to bury. Senfuma is gone. And we've been knowing him very much. But let us add out the truth. Let us just examine what the rich man was requesting for. If Senfuma there kicks that coffin and he stands here, who remains here? Some people just remind them if they had cars when they were in car. They just remind them that you went with a car. You can see all the banana plantations when there are now roads. You can find people being reminded that, hey, you had a child. Yet he, the one who was resurrected, he has been our own with him. We have been staying with him. Therefore, this rich man didn't know what he was requesting. That is why this one told him, just stop the wise king. If they cannot hearken to the living ones, even though the dead one comes out and stands there, for them they just run. Therefore, if you say that if I see one who went there and comes back, just, just reduce the wise king. Accept Jesus and get saved. Praise be to our God. We want to thank God for the life of Saint Fuma. The Bible says that like blessed are those ones who die in our Lord Jesus Christ. Why are they blessed? Because they go with their deeds. It means those ones who are not dead in our Lord Jesus Christ. But these ones go and they are blessed. Jesus spoke about them like this. He said, whoever believes on me. 
Just here to what makes them to be blessed. Jesus says that whoever believes on me, as same as be, even when he's dead, he's still living. I told you yesterday, to make meaning unto me, it meant meaning when I went to the market to buy fish, I found one who was convicting a lady who was selling fish, the Ramazan dare not give me a dead fish. Yet they are all even on the I thought the other person could say there is no living fish here. This Lamanzan just convicted her. Forgive me, last time I gave you dead fish and I know the reason. But this one, this one is living. This one is also living. But forsake this one, but this one is living. On the stone. Yet there were no fish which was shaking. No one who no knew fish was shaking. But among the fish which was shaking, some were dead and the living. Have you ever known that even in the dead they are also living dead? One of them is here, we have him, he's called He's a living dead. One who dies if not saved. He's a dead, dead person. When you're going to bury them, you differentiate them. And you tell them that I've gone for a burial service. But I've gone to bury a dead person who is dead. But when you're going to bury born again, you stay. But I've gone to bury a living dead. Those who have hands have clapped to Jesus. More so those ones who got saved. Whoever accepts on me will be living Bible That's what the Bible portrays. Praise be to God for his life. Now the time we've come to We want to let down this body Which same fuma left for us here He left for us his box To just put it somewhere Where our master will find it on the other day When he will show his power and remove all those boxes because that day is also coming. The born again and the non born again will resurrect. The ones who didn't get born again will resurrect for judgment. For the born again will just resurrect for the eternal life. I revisit. Those ones who born born again and the non born again will all resurrect. The ones who born again will inherit the kingdom. But the non born again will all inherit the kingdom. But the non born again will all inherit the kingdom. But the non born again They'll just resurrect to stand before the judges. Just to answer for all their deeds. I want to help people over the radio. TV. And even on the TV. Because even this is what Sema could do. And if I don't do it, he can get annoyed over me. Because this is what he wants on his crusade. He could want you to get saved. Even the one who backs it to come back. I think where it is here I said amen This is a great occasion You will have some people to get saved I want to where you are Whether on TV or on radio Or whether you're here When you never got to Close up your eyes and reveal these words. Close up your eyes and say these words. If you're there alone, when nobody is to steal your phone, close up your eyes. If you're there alone, when nobody is to steal your phone, close up your eyes. If you're driving a car, at all these words are not closing. Up your eyes. But humble yourself in the heart and say these words. Say, Oh Jesus, my Lord, you are my Lord. Today, I come before you. I come before you. I come before you. Beseeching you, have mercy on me. me. Forgive me all my sins, the ones I did from my childhood till today. Because today, me and my heart have accepted to be given righteousness. And I confess with my mouth that I'm saved in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
Truly the word has come to pass that the death of the righteous is so glorious and is so glorious and even on the burial ceremony on the burial ceremony the gospel has been preached and people are getting saved Jesus said since I came to cast fire if it is burning what am I doing here are people who are possessed I bring them before you they are in their houses there in their cars, there on the work in the nation of Uganda, Uganda, and even abroad, those who have had this word, those who have got a sub to them, those who have come back to them, those who have come back to them, have mercy, forgive, everybody, who is saying to themselves, having a child that prayer, from the bottom of his heart, forgive him, establish him, serve him truly, the other day, to come before him, in Jesus name Amen A mighty hand cup unto Jesus The Bible says When somebody gets up He has become a new preacher The past is gone And new things have come Such out for a good church Which is known for false prophets And go and join it May God richly bless you